Yeah, yeah, the American Battle Plan. You knew, didn't you, Andrew? Your head full of uniforms. Ah, oh, those poor boys. <laughs> we knew. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Al Murray. This is why the British are undefeated World War cha World War champions. Okay, let's go. We currently the British are World War champions of the world. Undisputed. <laughs> undisputed World War. Yeah. We haven't lost a war. We haven't lost a war for a thousand fucking years. That is a fact. <laughs> Yeah, we even had a war against the French that lasted a hundred years, called the Hundred Years' War. And the reason it lasted a hundred years is because we're enjoying winning it so much, we spun it out for the full century. <laughs> oh, yeah. If it's going well, you stay at a crease, don't you? Now, the point is... I mean, we had to help the Americans in the Iraq War, and there are people who say the Iraq War was unnecessary. I cannot agree, it was essential practice. In case one comes along, we've actually got to fight, wouldn't it? <laughs> Got to stay match fit in case the Germans try again. <laughs> <laughs> I've been too quiet for too long. <laughs> I mean, they're saying Iraq's turning into a new Vietnam. Oh no, loads more fucking miserable films with Yanks in. <laughs> now, the point is... <laughs> no, we had to help you. We had to help the Americans, because yeah? they've never won one on their own before, have they? And they... they <laughs> It came to the experts, undefeated World War champions of the world. Because the British Army, the, Brit yeah, the British Army works on a simple system, didn't it? Yeah? The American Army, yeah, a dog's breakfast with all due respect. Because yeah? the battle plan for Iraq was a disaster, wasn't it? Because what did they do? And we all knew it was a rubbish battle plan. You knew, didn't Heidi? You knew, didn't you, love? And it doesn't concern you, sweetheart. <laughs> Everyone knew. <laughs> the boys knew the Yanks were going to fuck it up, didn't you, fellas? You knew, didn't you? You knew. Yeah, Ludwig. Yeah, you knew with your own detailed understanding of military campaigns. We all knew. <laughs> You. Yeah, as Vera slammed the phone down on him and yet again, he knew. <laughs> you boys, you knew, didn't you? Yeah? Yeah, the American battle plan, you knew, didn't you, Andrew? Your head full of uniforms. Ah, oh, those poor boys. <laughs> we all knew. <laughs> we all knew. Because what did the Americans do? Basic, bottom line, battlefield error. They sent Marines, 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 water soldiers. <laughs> and they sent them to fight in the fight. Literally, what I've learned is that you do not mess with the British. I feel like the British they just have so much allies. They've, the British invaded so many places back in, back in the day. There's so much allies. The British, and obviously when you see the... No, what are they called? Is it SAS? Is it SAS? There's the... Not the Marine. I'm not, what are they... Oh, what are they called? The ones that are always in the, in the, in the sea. There's always an ad on TV to join them. Ah, oh, I forgot what they're called now. But yeah, the training is absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So if you think of it, the British haven't been in the war in so long, but the British army is so, so big. It's, almost, it's probably not even as big, not as big as the American army, but like just, just what they have prepared, ready, and they, have, they know they have so much allies. They know the Americans are gonna help them, the French is gonna help them, the Germans are gonna help them. The only no allies probably like Russia, China, Korea. You know, anyone else is an ally. That's ridiculous. Oh lord, let me know what you guys think below. Thank you. Fucking desert! <laughs> and they send them to fight in the fucking desert! <laughs> How was that ever gonna work? Baghdad's a five hour driver, best if you ignore the speed cameras. <laughs> Three weeks in a speedboat, come on, fellas. <laughs> Baghdad or bus, boys, come on! Fuck it, let's pedal. Oh, I don't know what I've been told. Nonsense. So what did we do? We're in the desert, we did the obvious thing. We sent the desert rats. Because the clue is in the fucking name. <laughs> Phone rings, we're in the desert. We'll, we'll send the desert rats then. It's obvious, George, that was just stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, okay. I'll tell them to paint the van yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get away from me. Now, the point is, <laughs> Yeah, because that's how the British Army works, isn't it, fellas? On a simple job name description allocation system basis. <laughs> because we are the most sensible, normal, down-to-earth people in the world, yeah? The British Army works on a job name description allocation system basis. Very simple, yeah? You've got the desert rats for fighting in the desert. It's obvious, isn't it, yeah? You've got the parachute regiment for parachuting. It's obvious, isn't it, yeah? You've got the Royal Engineers for going behind enemy lines and putting out cones, haven't you, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Slow the traffic down to 20 for no fucking reason whatsoever. <laughs> Stand in a luminous top and do nothing, disrupting the enemy's infrastructure. Fucking brilliant work, fellas. 
We've got the Scots Guards keeping an eye on the Scots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got the Irish guards keeping on the Irish, not so busy anymore. And of course, <laughs> now we're all friends. And of course, the Welsh guards for simply keeping an eye on the Welsh. Mind you, there's nothing to guard in Wales since they dug out all the coal. They should have, <laughs> should have paced themselves, really. Now, the point is, <laughs> got the horse guards for guarding the horses, haven't we? Yeah? Horse artillery for firing horses at the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking them out. Achtung, horse! <laughs> And of course, the light infantry for fighting during the day. It's a simple system. <laughs> Special forces soldiers who can't read. A simple system. <laughs> Laid out plain and simple so the Queen, who's a woman, can understand how her army works. <laughs> you can't argue that. The Queen is a woman. Oh no. I think these guys, this geezer just literally is a comedian that's very smart. He, I think he, he, must, he must have been a history teacher back in the day. His knowledge of history is ridiculous. He knew so much. I think what I was thinking earlier, I think that was the Royal Marine. I think, I think that's what I was thinking. Yeah, you guys want to see more Al Mori. I love this geezer. It's very funny. It's very, very funny. You know what to do? Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.